All right, guys, we're gonna be building the first version of the catapult. Couple things to note, just make sure that you have the correct size of your axles. Remember, if you uh, hold it up to the circles, you can count them. So let me hold this one up. So if we hold it up right, you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So this is length 10. Uh, you're gonna need two rubber bands. Please make sure that they're the same size, otherwise your catapult is gonna put a lot of tension on one rubber band and not a lot of tension on the other. So we want the um, elastic energy to be distributed evenly, so having them be the same size is crucial in this. And just another general reminder, the colors that I have are gonna be different than the colors you have. All right, let's begin. So we're gonna start off with our six by six base plate and then we're going to add our Technic bricks. Our one by six Technic bricks are going on the outside and then just our normal bricks go on the inside. And the reason is we just need to make sure that we have the Technic bricks on the outside so that we can put these black pins in them later. Okay, we're gonna put our two by sixes on top of those. Okay, and then in the next step, we're gonna take a two by six and we're gonna put it on the end like that. And then we have two two by fours and we're gonna put those here like this. Okay, so you can see two by four and two by six. And then we're gonna take uh, our two by four plate, so the, the skinny one, and those are gonna just rest right on top like that. Okay. We're gonna set this aside, and then we're gonna build the catapult arm. So you're gonna start with one of these one by 16s, and you need two of these black friction pins. We're gonna put one, two slots in on this side, and one of them goes two slots in on the other side, just like that. Then we're gonna take our second uh, one by 16 Technic brick, and we're gonna push those together like that, so now they're together. And then we are going to take the axle that is a length 10, and we're gonna count four in from one of the sides. So I'm counting one, two, sorry, I'm trying to see if I, you guys can see through, there we go. One, two, three, four, and I'm gonna push it through. Okay, and then we're gonna take one of our uh, bushings and these basically are just going to prevent it from sliding back and forth like that. So now it doesn't move. Then we're going to take uh, the other 6x6 plate and we're going to put it <clears throat> right in the middle, just like this. So just right in the middle. We're going to take our 2x4 tiles. These are the ones that are smooth on top. And we're just going to put these in the middle. And then we're going to kind of build a wall around those. So we're going to take some 1x6s and some 1x4s. And this is where we're going to put whatever projectile we're going to be launching is going to go right here. We're going to take our axle that's length 6 and put it through the first slot. And again, you're going to secure it in place uh, with those bushings. Now, try your best to have it be even on both sides. So try to get it as much in the middle as possible. Same with the other one, but you know, if it's like this, we have a problem, you know, but just eyeball it, it doesn't need to be perfect. All right, last thing that we're gonna do, it's not going to securely fit, but we're just going to kind of put these on so they can easily come right off like this. See how they just go in? but we need to do this first when we're securing it on here. It's gonna be the easiest way to do it. So here's that tough part. So our catapult arm is gonna fit inside this empty space on this side, and then those get pushed down. So if you do it right, everything gets pushed down, and we've got our catapult arm, which can swing in that open space right there. Okay, 
Now we're going to build uh, the part that's going to secure the rubber bands in place. We're going to go one, two black pins, and then this blue one, you're going to do it on the side where there's this little groove. That goes in first. So it should go in. Let me see if I can get this up to the camera. And that groove is going to be resting right there. Okay, so if you push it in too far like that, no, that doesn't work. We want it sticking out just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna take our little elbow and it's easiest if you thread through the blue part first. So get it into the blue, then kind of line it up with the black pieces and you gotta just kind of wiggle it, wiggle it a little bit and push at the same time. It's a little bit challenging, but it's nice and secure in there. And then take another black pin right down there. Okay. So we get our black pin and then we're going to take one of our one by seven lift arms and we're going to add that. So it's sticking up like that. Then at the top of that lift arm that we just put, we're going to add two more black pins. And then we're going to add our lift arm that's length three. Yours is probably not yellow, but as long as it just has three holes, then we're good. So just like that. Then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So we're going to go through, we're going to add two black pins. And one blue. And then that elbow kind of wiggle it, push it down in. One more black pin. That goes up like that. These black pins go at the top of that lift arm. And then you take that the other one by three. Oops. And there you go. Okay, a few more steps and then we're done. So now we're gonna take, this is the longest one, this is length 11, and we're just gonna thread it through, and then we're just gonna take these two yellow bushings and we're gonna secure both ends. So we're just locking it in place. Now, try not to do it where you're pushing so much that it's bending these pieces in. So if there's a little bit of give, that's okay. All right, now the last part, and this is kind of the trickiest part, is we're gonna add those rubber bands. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna hold them underneath like this, and then you're gonna loop the top part around and through, and then you're going to grab that part that went up, around, and through, and you're gonna pull this one. Okay, so we've got that one, and then we're gonna do the same thing so again, we go under, you take the part that's coming around and that goes under and through, and then you pull. And then, so see how it's pulled through just like that. Let me get this other one too. So they're pulled through like this. Then we're going to attach these onto this axle that we threaded through here like this. So now when I pull back, there we go, there's my catapult. Pull all the way back and let go and you wanna hold on to it. And there you go. Now you'll notice that it's not balanced. So if you have an extra brick, you could add something coming out the bottom of it here. So we could add another brick going this way. Uh, maybe you take like the tile, there's a long tile that came with yours and you just kind of put it and then if it tilts back, it just rests on that tile. All right, I know that was a little long, it's a little complicated, but hopefully you got this thing built.